and welcome to a video about solving exponential equations. The first thing we need to talk about is that anytime you solve an exponential equation, you're going to need to use logarithm. I like to write down if 5 squared is 25, that means that log base 5 of 25 is 2. So I use that to remind me about how to switch back and forth between log form and exponential form. Because when I solve these exponential equations, I'm going to want to rewrite them in log form. I want to solve 2 to the x equals 9. Now, you could have a pretty good idea of what this answer is going to be, because you know that 2 squared is 4, that 2 cubed is 8, and that 2 to the 4th is 16. So you know that your answer should be between 3 and 4, but probably closer to 3. So what you have here is an exponential equation. You want to rewrite it in log form. So when I rewrite that in log form, what's going to happen is I'm going to have log base 2, so that the base of the exponent and the base of the log are always the same, of 9 equals x. So notice that when I solve these, the exponent is now on the other side of the equal sign, which is exactly what I want because I want to be able to solve for it. Now, log base 2 of 9, depending on what kind of calculator you have, you might be able to plug that in exactly the way that it is. So if you have a type of calculator that doesn't have all the bases, yours probably just has base 10 and ln. So if you want to rewrite this so you can use your calculator, you're going to write log 9 over log 2. That also is the same thing as ln of 9 over ln of 2. And you can use either one of these to get the right answer. How about 4 to the x and plus 1 minus 5 equals 7? So before we rewrite in log form, we're just going to want to move that 5 over to the other side so that I get 4 to the x plus 1 equals 12. Now I'm going to rewrite in log form. Log base 4 of 12 equals x plus 1. Now if you're having trouble understanding why that rewrite works, please ask your teacher. Your last step now, you're going to type into your calculator log 12 over log 4. That's going to give you a decimal approximation of that value. And then to solve for x, you're just going to subtract 1 off of whatever that is. Okay? Good luck, everybody.